got to work for a living, you might as well put in your time for the Cartwrights. Well, this is downright luxury here. Solid floor in the bunkhouse, springs in the beds, not even any busted window panes. You ain't been doing much riding lately, huh? How do you mean? Well, hardly any calluses on your hands. Wear gloves. Well, I'll be working plenty starting tomorrow. I'll go ahead and try out them springs right now. Pretty fancy holster you got there. Yeah, it's a McHenry special. <laughs> it's like the left front end of it all. You see, you don't draw the gun slips out. Oh, yeah. You're going to be ready to fire that in the wink, wouldn't you? Yeah, it, it's fast. You won't be needing anything up fast around here. I can use a hand since I finished the coffee. Some place you got here. Yeah, sure is. My pa built this place with his bare hands. I was born in that little room upstairs. But you said you were from New Orleans. No, no, that's where my pa married my mother. They were married there, and then they came back here to settle down. You uh, remember your mother? No, not too much. Just what my pa told me about her. <laughs> I always said she was like a like Kevin Spring in the house the year around. Always laughing. Full of fun and warmth. Guess she must have looked pretty nice, huh? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I guess she was about the prettiest woman in New Orleans. Hey, I've got a picture of her right here. I just carry it with me. What do you think? Getting lots of eye contact. I feel like this is going well. Just wish I knew what she was thinking. Brandon Johnson is too extreme for Chicago. Johnson wants to defund the police, put our safety at risk, raise taxes on the middle class, and drive jobs away from Chicago. Brandon Johnson, a change for the worse. Like Kevin Spring in the house all year round. 
prettiest picture I've ever seen. I sure wish this was mine. What? Oh, well, it was a silly thing for me to say. I was just thinking how I, how I never knew my mother. And I wish she looked like this. Hey, we better head off. We're going to get back to camp before sundown, huh? I guess we better. Those supplies won't take care of themselves. self-defense. Maybe so. But do you know whether or not he low-carded? Roy, a man is innocent until proven guilty. A stranger, fast gun, and a card trap all wrapped up in one package? Now, that's something Virginia City don't oh, need. Oh, wait a minute, Roy. Wait a minute. What do you mean, a stranger? Everybody's a stranger until they settle someplace. And as for being a fast gun, if he wasn't, he'd be dead instead of the miner. So don't use that. All right, I'll grant you that. But you ain't asking the main point. Was he cheating or wasn't? But the point is there is no proof the man was cheating. That is not the point. Little Joe, when I first took this job, and that was a few years ago, I made an arrangement with myself. I said, Roy, the best way to handle trouble is to avoid it, and it's worked out pretty well. Now, if this fellow Stafford stays around town, I'm just laying myself wide open to more killings. Can't you see that? Now, that's why he's got to go. No, I can't see it. It's not right, Roy, and it's not fair. Well, the sheriff knows best it's his job. I'll take care of it, Roy. The young man will leave in the morning. Thanks, Ben. Go on, Joe. Joe. Oh, 
about right is right and this isn't. Now, Joseph, you're doing a lot of talking about right is right and proof and facts. Well, what facts do you have? What do you know about them? You worked a couple of ranches up in Oregon Territory. What else? But that isn't the main point. If he stays in Virginia City, he may be killed. Now, Lloyd is right. He knows best. Come on. Are you now? Yeah, I figured I'd have to move on sooner or later. Not quite this soon. I'm sorry to say no. I put my time in here. Your father got his money's worth. Oh, I know that. Besides that, your father and the sheriff made it pretty clear that my welcome had run out. Yeah, I know. I still think they're wrong about that. I told them so last night. You, mean you stuck up for me? Are you against your father? Why not? What's right is right. Is that all? No, it's not all. I don't know. We got along pretty good. Kind of thought we could be friends. You remember that picture of your mother you showed me? Yeah. Can I see it again? What for? Just let me see it. See, this isn't just a picture of a beautiful woman. She's my mother, too. said the baby had died. They lied. They lied to her and they lied to me. They lied. Who? My grandparents, my, my father's folks. They were against the marriage from the very beginning. They, they hated my mother. Didn't think she was good enough for their son. Well, when we all got the fever, my father died. They told my mother that, that I had died also. See, when I was old enough to ask questions, they told me that she was dead. And after all this time, how did you find us? Well, last year I shook the wander dust off my heels and, and went back to New Orleans. Guess I got sentimental, wanted to put a flower or two on Mother's grave. Of course, that's when I found out there wasn't any grave. After that, I checked with the Hall of Records and around, and that's when I found out about, about you being married to my mother and about the Ponderosa. Clay, why didn't you tell us all this when you first got here? Well, I didn't want to push myself into a family. I don't know why I came here. Just because I, I wanted to see my brother. find out if I, if I liked you or not. No, none of this changes the fact that I better be moving on. Those, those miners are pretty hot under the collar. Oh, you, you'll be all right here in the Ponderosa. Are you sure, sir? Of course. They won't come out of here. No, sir, that's not what I mean. Do you mean? I mean, do you believe me? Of course I do. Of course I believe you. News is rather startling. You have to admit that. I, 
out of the blue, so to speak. Takes a little getting used to. But look, we, uh, we have plenty of room in here. Why don't you, uh, why don't you move in from the bunkhouse? Thank you, sir. Check his story out. You and us think that we might have made up the whole thing? Well, we think it's important enough to know for sure. I mean, it uh, wouldn't do any harm to send a telegram to Judge Wharton down in New Orleans, would it? You know you were the one that was going to pick him up? No difference doesn't make it. Any to pick you up? Look, Pa told you we're safe on the ranch, but not here in town. It's working hours. The miners are on the ground. Just half of them. They work on shifts. Now, let's get this wagon loaded and get out of here. Brother Joe, you worry too much. What you need is a beer to help you relax. Since we're in town, why don't we take care of that? No, wait a minute and use your head. When the town is hot, there's only one place you're going to run into trouble. You won't have to look that far. It seems to be here right now. about the company we keep. Take the horse thief. You can see the horse he steals. A fellow robs a bank. Well, there's the money. But a card cheat. Well, if he's good at it, it's over and done with before you know what's happened. If Sam hadn't been drinking, nothing would have happened. There was no reason for it. Well, Sam ain't here to argue the point, but we are. And we aim to do more than just argue. You said you're on using that gun? I never draw first. I'd like to keep the street clean. You think one gun's enough? Two guns, John. Now, why don't you all just forget it? We don't want anybody to get hurt. Why don't you keep your nose out of this car, right? Friends are no friends. He's going to get his. He's not just a friend. He's my brother. be another day. We can use that beer now. Well, couldn't we just load the wagon and leave town? Maybe you're right, brother. Well, the beans are on the fire. We'll have a drink. 
Well, you better take it easy. We gotta be back to camp before late. Here's just the thing. It'll help us take it easy. Here, here we go. You sure you got enough? <laughs> hey, this is whiskey. Well, not exactly. <coughs> well, what is it then? Polky. Polky, what's that? Well, it's a uh, drink they have down in Mexico. They make it out of cactus. When you were loading up the wagon, I got it from Manuel back at the livery stable. Come on, drink up. Uh, it's hot, but it's good. Yeah, just like riding a nice, easy drink. <laughs> when he discovers that burr under his saddle, watch out. Yeah, don't worry about me. I can take it. You know, this is better than a saloon. Yeah, you're right, and the company's better, too. Hey, I've gotten to learn about this, uh... Pulque? Pulque, yeah. Oh, when I was down in Mexico, it's the only kind of liquor they have down there, so you have to learn to like it. What are you doing down there? Ah, fighting with Juarez. Fighting with Juarez? What, in army? Yeah, I was down there for two years, a lieutenant. How'd you happen to get mixed up on a thing like that? Well, the pay was good. I have to leave him. What he was fighting for? Yeah, he, he was fighting that, uh, that emperor, Maximilian, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I read a little bit about that somewhere. You know, Juarez was a, was a real Mexican, not a Spaniard. It was just like one of the thousands of peasants he led. A great man. Hmm. Hey, you know, it's kind of kind of sad he had to fail. Oh, he'll come back. And when he does, maybe, maybe I'll go back to him. Hey, you know we're getting much too serious. Come on, drink it up, will you? <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, look, I'll tell you about the girls that used to follow the army. <laughs> there was this one gal. Her name was Conchita. Oh, Conchita. So you see, when we ran out, Cochita went right through the enemy lines and brought back a couple of jugs. <laughs> <laughs> brought back a couple of jugs. <laughs> hey, look, now that's a, that is the kind of girl, that Conchita. That's the kind of girl that I would like to have. Hey, you know, Conchita, she had a sister, Rosita. Rosita. Hey, listen, now, in all, in all seriousness, we ought to get down there and get that Conchita and that Rosita. Yeah. Uh -huh. 